Hello PHS, my name is Taya Saracini and I'm here with Taylor McInerney and we are proud to present to you the second episode of the Cougar Media News. Last week we featured the new teacher Mrs. Self Smith in our episode. This week we would like to introduce you to Mr. Show Walter. That Carl episode, there's a bunch of things you can find on YouTube. I recently got to sit down with the about, new social studies teacher, Mr. Show Walter. Uh, hi, I'm Mr. Show Walter. Um, I am a social studies teacher here at Palmyra. Uh, this year I'm part-time, hopefully going to become more of a full-time teacher next year. I ended up teaching social studies because I love how perspective it is and how students can add their own opinions to the topics rather than just learning about uh, dates and, and events. They can add their opinions and their own interpretations to specific events throughout history. So I always found that to be very interesting for students and I found that they, you know, really like to, they really enjoy doing that inside the classroom. Um, so I graduated from Millersville University. I did my student teaching at Hemfield High School um, in Lancaster, PA. I had a long-term sub-job at Centerville Middle School, which is the, in, within the Hemfield School District. I taught eighth grade American history, and I've heard great things about the students here. I heard great things about the uh, school district and the teachers here, and I always wanted to be a part of a great team that you know works together on a daily basis. And just being here for the first few weeks of school, I can really tell that this is a place I really want to spend my time. This is Gabe Page reporting, Cougar Media News. Mr. Showalter isn't the only new person here at the high school. The entire freshman class is also walking through the halls for the first time. Cameron got the chance to ask some freshmen a few questions about high school so far. Hey, what's up, guys? We're here interviewing freshmen. and see what they have to say about the school. What are they scared of? Their worries? Describe their first day in one word. Stuff like that. So let's get into it. <laughs> Describe your first day in one word. Uh... It, it was an experience. Um, tiring. Good. <laughs> Good as well. Good. Stressful. Boring. Fun. Fun. Uh, what were your fears coming into PHS? Not knowing, like, figuring out where I'm getting. The seniors. Getting lost. What, what's the favorite cafeteria food of yours? Um, pepperoni pizza. Cafeteria <laughs> food. How much sauce? Um, Probably the Cool Ranch Doritos. That's a good one. That's a good Cougar Bowl. My lunch. All right, what's your favorite class here at PHS? Um, math. Science. Science. Math. Spanish. Orchestra. Um, orchestra. We like your hands. All right, on a serious note, what are your goals here at PHS? By the your senior year, what are your goals? Oh, to have a career. Okay. Take funny. a college class. Go to college. Go to college. Go to college. Okay. I'm just trying to graduate. All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Graduate um, to get into college. Did you get lost in your first day? No. 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 Good luck to all the freshmen this year. Also, yearbooks are already on sale. If you pre-order your yearbook at justinsyearbooks.com by September 28th, you can save up to $6 and get four free icons. Our sports teams have had some great games over the past week, so let's jump over to Garrett for our team of the week. The electric football team has handed Garden Spot their third L of the season as Caleb Hawkins rushed for over 100 yards and scored two touchdowns on Friday as COM 18 improved to 3-0 on the season. Girls soccer lost 2-1 this past Saturday with the lone goal scored by Maddie Julian against Mannheim Central. They also lost Wednesday night to Garden Spot 1-0. Boys soccer also lost to Mannheim Central 1-0 in overtime, but bounced back with two crucial wins against Mifflin County and Garden Spot on Tuesday and Wednesday. Field hockey defeated Central Dolphin on Saturday 2-1 and beat out Susquehanna Township on Tuesday. Our team of the week this week is girls volleyball, who is now off to a 4-0 start. They are 3-0 in conference play with wins against LD, Waynesboro, and on Wednesday night swept the Wildcats of Mechanicsburg 3-0. The girls won the first set 25-19 and the second set 25-16. During the third set, the Cougars and the Wildcats battled it out in a close game, but Palmyra's Taylor McInerney and Allie Stovall broke the tie and completed the sweep with a 25-23 win. Their next game is September 17th against Greencastle. Great job to all of our sports teams. Keep up the great work. Also, the following colleges will be visiting Palmyra High School to meet with interested juniors and seniors next week. On Monday, September 17th, there will be St. Vincent College and East Stroudsburg University. On Tuesday, September 18th, Millersville University, and on Thursday, September 20th, Earlham College and Westchester University. The 2018 homecoming court was announced last Friday. 
Let's take a look at who the lucky girls are. Don't forget that students who would like to bring a guest who is not a Elmira student to the 2018 homecoming dance on Saturday, September 29th must fill out a guest permission form which is available on the high school website. Forms will be accepted until September 21st at 3 p.m. in the office. <laughs> That's it for this week, PHS. Tune in again next week for another great episode. <laughs>